Uh, you should see my screen. I'm at the website colorbrewer2.org. This is called the Color Brewer. Now, what the Color Brewer allows you to do is uh, help you cr uh, create categorical um, colors. I should say it helps you create a color scheme for your categorical um, or ordinal um, variables for your own work in Excel. And what's so great about this is it actually comes up with ones that make a lot of sense. So in this case, just in the standard, it says I have uh, three data classes here. And we can actually come up with more. We can come up with less. Um, the data classes are how many different types of variables we have. And if hopefully you can see my mouse following along. So I'm just going to jump back to three here. And so you see it's come up with three colors. And then this map shows you that sort of gradation. So in this case, where we have an assumption of an ordinal scale, where this um, lighter color is maybe a lesser value, and the darker color, uh, as you go up, is a greater value, uh, this really helps us create colors that I think are, and I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure this is correct, that are linearly um, equidistant from one another. So um, in other words, if we were to follow sort of the, the variables that create these colors, they are equidistant in terms of the, the numbers that make up these colors. But what this is really good for is that the colors used are very good at telling differences of degree in terms of um, your ordinal values. But of course, you can always do a diverging one. Now, diverging, in this case, you may have ones um, where your center value is white, and then you know it goes darker red or darker gray. That could be, obviously, weather is a very common um, use of that. And also we have qualitative ones, in which case there's no relationship between the colors, but you also but you have these different variables. So you want these colors to stick out. So what's so great about this tool is that you can say how many variables you have. You can uh, um, you can figure out what your underlying nature of the data is, and you can also uh, pick the colors that are colorblind safe, print friendly, or photocopy safe. So obviously male color blindness blindness is very common. So this is something to keep in mind. In your own work, you have a lot of decisions. So here's the question. Once I figure out what I want, and obviously I can use this map to help me out to see the differences, how do I get this back into Excel? So I've clicked this. So down over here under the, um, under the uh, different types of classes we can display the colors in, you see that the default is hex, which is what HTML uses uh, most commonly. You can switch it to RGB. And once you've switched it to RGB, you see that I actually have the colors here that I can input into Excel. So in this case, I have 227, 74, and 51. Hopefully, we'll remember those. I've now clicked over into Excel. I'm going to go to my um, paint bucket. I'll click more colors. This, this, this little guy pops up. We're going to click the custom, and then I have these inputs here. So I actually already forgot the colors. So um, 227, 74, and 51. So I'll just type that in here real quick. 51. Okay, so that is the color. Hopefully that was the right color. Yes, it looks like it was as I look down there. So now I actually have this color, and I can input all of them, and I'm sure there's probably a quicker way to do this if you wanted to write a macro. But once I've done that, you can see that it's in my recent colors. And again, if you are someone who is well-versed in Excel themes, I'm not. Um, and I really just don't like dealing with Excel themes. You can actually add these as a theme, and then you can use them on your own in your own charts and in your own work. And I found these colors to be very... Um, well uh, taken by my clients. So they actually really like it. They say, well, I'm glad that you're no longer using those blotchy, crazy Excel colors. Like Excel 2013 actually is a fairly decent palette. Um, yeah. But they, they seem to like that, and these, these colors uh, do well. I got this tip really from Stephen Few's books, uh, so, you know, the, the dashboard guru. So he used this, and I saw it, and I thought this is a really great tool um, for Excel and for people who who really need to create palettes for their own work. Mm -hmm. So you take that and run with it. All right. All right. So that was let me good. Give that four. four. Well, it's, it's a good conversation to have, and there's a lot about um, people that can't create these garish dashboards. And it's good to know that Color, Color Brewer is out there and available mm -hmm. to give you some guidance. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you for that, Jordan. All right. <laughs>